Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another little spring tutorial. I'm just gonna jump in, I'm gonna prime my skin with my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. Half the time I don't even wear primer anymore because my makeup stays on for about an hour. And then I'm gonna jump into the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use the shade 2.5. So I'm gonna pop this on my cheekbones. Put some on my forehead, down my nose. Just any areas that I want my skin, that I want the glow to pop on my skin. Blend that out with this brush. So glowy. So, so glowy. And then I'm gonna use my Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I use the shade 230 in this one. This brush I'm using is a Morphe brush. Uh, there's no number on it, but it's just this nice big buffer brush. I feel like I just really jumped straight into this tutorial. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I really can't wait until we can travel again. All I want to do is jump on a plane and go somewhere tropical, sit on a beach, and literally do nothing. That's all I want to do. Aside from seeing my family, that's all I want to do. Chill on a beach for days. How amazing does that sound? Um, okay, I'm jumping into the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. The shade I use is 1N. So I'm just going to do my usual highlight. I'm just taking my Fenty Highlight Brush, so it's this little angled one, uh, to blend the concealer. Okay, once that is done, I'm gonna go and contour. So I'm taking this Smashbox Studio Skin, which it's a concealer contour product. Um, so I just like the contour end of this. This is the shade 2.1. I'm gonna take this on this little fluffy brush. This is a Dior brush at number 16. So I just get the product on the brush like this. So I just like to kind of get the product down. So I know where it's gonna sit. I always just do my cheekbones first. So I'm just gonna blend this out now. And then I like to just kind of get a little bit more on my brush and just work it in around my hairline, just kind of to frame my face and just add a nice bit of warmth into my skin. Now I'm gonna go do my blush. I have this one from Morphe. It's called Wish. It's their cheek and lip mousse, which is pretty much the exact same color as my top. Cute. So I just put some out onto the back of my hand there and I'm just working it into my brush. I'm just gonna apply this up on my cheekbones and around my cheeks just to add that nice bit of rosiness. I just use the same brush that I use for my contour, the little Dior one. I like, this is like such a good size brush because it's great for like powder, contour, blush, powder or cream products. I always have loads on hand. They're just so handy. Almost finished face. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the highlight wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the peach or the pink gasm. I'm just gonna apply some of that up my cheekbones. I'm gonna use this little brush from Zoeva. It's their Lux Powder Fusion brush. I just love this size brush for highlight because it just is the perfect size for just like getting up on your cheekbones. Now I'm going in with powder. This is from Hourglass, it's their translucent powder. So if you know, you know, but if you're new here, what I like to do is just powder underneath my eyes. So I like to set my concealer. And then I like to just bring it down along my smile lines and over my chin. And just trim my brows a little bit. And then I'll go in with a bigger brush, just any big like powder bronzer brush. And then just let it go along my jaw. So I basically set everywhere except my cheeks because I like that to stay nice and glowy. Okay, now we're gonna go and do brows. And same as always, taking my Benefit brow set and my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen. So 
So for my eyes, I have these two colors from Makeup Geek that I think I'm just gonna mix because I really like the two of them. So I have this one called Cotton Candy and then I have this one called Pretty in Pink. So they're similar, but this one is obviously a bit more of like a purpley tone and this one is a bit more peach to it. So I'm gonna mix them. When I say I mix my shadows, because I do this quite often, what I mean is I'll like take a little bit of this shadow and then I'll go in here and just take a little bit of this and go back in here and take a little bit of this and take a little bit of this, take a little bit of this, take a little bit of this. So it's kind of just mixed on the brush then. So I'm going in with my Fenty Eye Base first. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. I just dab that in. I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and just dust it above my crease but not on my lid. So just dusting that above my crease just to set the eye base up here. I don't want to set it on the lid because I'm going to go in with this color all over my lid. So as you can see, I'm just like doing a little tapping motion where I just tap and drag and just pack the product all over the lid. And I'm just going to wipe the excess of my brush into my towel. And I'm just going to go and just soften the line here and just blend it through the crease. So that's why I wanted to set above the crease so when I'm blending the powder in, it's gonna blend nicely. Because if I didn't put the powder on, what could happen is me blending it up, it could get stuck into little bits up here and end up looking patchy. By just putting a little bit of translucent powder down, it just helps with the blend. I'm gonna take some of my Marc Jacobs bronzer and just a little small shader brush. This is just what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this underneath my eye. I just feel like when I don't have anything under my eye, I don't know, I just feel like I need something just underneath my eye. Even if it's not that noticeable, I, I notice it. And now going straight into mascara. This is the Push Up Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Silbury. Yeah, I wasn't planning on adding lashes, to be honest, but I just feel weird. I just think it's because my eyes are kind of small and I'm used to having like some type of a lash on when I do a look. I have these little wispy pair from Kiss. They're called Ritzy. So I'm just gonna cut these in half. And usually what I do is I'll take the outer cut, the outer end of the lash and use it here, but I'm gonna take the inner part of the lash so it's shorter and I'm gonna add it here. So you can see here, this is the lash. So I cut this in half. So by using the inner part of the lash, you can see that the lashes are a little bit shorter. It's not too dramatic, but it just kind of finishes off the eye look a little bit. I feel like it just kind of defines my eye shape a little bit better. So it's not like a huge, huge difference, but it makes a difference. So I'm gonna take a shikari liner from MAC and just apply this lightly over my lips. And then I'm going in with Honey Love from MAC on top of that. I'm going to add some of the Morphe Lip and Cheek Tint over this. Just for a bit of the inky tone to come through. Just for a little bit of extra glow, I'm going to go back into the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to take some on my little highlighting brush. That's it, another little spring tutorial in the bag. I think we will continue with more spring makeup looks because I'm very much into spring right now because winter just went on for way too long. It just felt like it was never ending and now spring is in sight and I am just all for the spring. So I hope you are too because there's gonna be a lot more spring tutorials. As always, thanks so much for watching and I catch you in the next one.